In today's episode, I stumble across London's most luxurious taxi, and then I get a pay rise, and then I forget to turn the meter on when there's a customer in the back. Hey, you crazy cats, I'm back. Yep, a lot of you might have noticed I haven't uploaded for a while. Well, that's because I went away, and when I came back, I was struck down by some ridiculous virus and ended up in hospital. Okay guys, before I get started, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody at Northwick Park Hospital, especially at the ID Assessment Room and Elgar Ward. The professionalism, the kindness, you guys put me back together again and gave me one of the most unforgettable birthdays of my life. Thanks so much guys. Right, let's get ready for today's shenanigans. So today's plan, I'm going to get a pay rise. Yeah. So I've got to go to a place called Taxi World. These are the people that own this meter here and they will give me a pay rise. And that involves changing a little um, very high technological chip inside that meter. I'll show you how it's all done. What I normally do is I wait until I get a job to King's Cross. And then from King's Cross, I can easily go to a brewery road, which is where Taxi World are. Okay, you know the regulations, coffee first. Okay, uh, Starbucks this morning, um, let's get started. Meter is on, tariff one, daytime tariff. It's Tuesday the 18th, um, working off two apps today, free now and taxi app. Okay, let's go, let's see what we get. Hopefully I'll get something into town and that'll get me going. So one of the worst things about coming back to work after you've been away for a while <clears throat> is trying to figure out where the new roadworks are. So you can be sure today I'll be picking up a customer and driving them into a situation where there are roadworks that I knew nothing about. Okay, I've just picked up, well, I've just seen a lady on the corner of the street. She's held me down, she's got a pram and it looks like, hang on, let's see what's happening. Hi there. I just want to go to Tesco in Notting Hill. Yeah, 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 that's no problem. Do you want to hand in with the pram? I might be able to do it. Yeah, let me know if you need a help, yeah. Okay, so I departed on the left Uxbridge Road at the junction of Askew Road. And forward Uxbridge Road, it is hit some temporary traffic lights. Those are new, didn't notice those after I'd left to go on holiday. Anyway, Ford Uxbridge Road, and it was about here, I must point out, that I realised I hadn't turned the meter on. So, embarrassingly, I flicked the meter on, my mistake, Ford Uxbridge Road, and then on to Shepherd's Bush Green. We'll talk about the meter later. Um, there's always plenty of traffic within these two lanes. You'll have to just start, stop your way all the way up to Holland Park roundabout. I'm making sure I don't get caught in that box junction, which I have done. Comply Holland Park roundabout, leave by Holland Park Avenue. Now, Holland Park Avenue is looking amazing at this time of year. Summer seems to be making an appearance and the trees are in full bloom. So making my way up Holland Park Avenue, past Holland Park on the right, and then we'll be going past the parades of shops on the left. So forward Holland Park Avenue until finally Holland Park Avenue turns into Notting Hill Gate. This lady actually wanted to go to Camden Hill Road. So I took my weight at the lights on Notting Hill Gate for the right turn and dropped the lady off on Camden Hill Thank Road. Thank you. Um, okay, that's my first job done. Uh, since I've been back for many weeks, um, a nice little job, picked the lady up on the street, she had a pram. And guess what? Because I haven't been back in the saddle for so long, I was driving down the Axbridge Road with the passenger in the back and I'd forgot to turn the meter on. Schoolboy error, I know, but you know, getting back into the swing of things and all that. Let me know any of you cab drivers who've done the same, forgetting to turn the meter on and then realizing halfway through the journey. Tell me your story. I then took a left into Bedford Gardens and the Free Now app went off. Okay, I have just picked a job up on the app. It's Moscow Road to, to uh, Cadogan Garden. So I pulled up on the left Moscow Road and waited about five minutes for the customer. Oh, hi there. Um, 
Okay, so we left by St. Petersburg Place, then right onto the Bayswater Road. Left Palace Gardens Terrace, that's just coming up, right Kensington Mount, and then left Kensington Church Street. We did have a bit of a conversation about shall we try the park, but I thought better not. Uh, Kensington Church Street seems like the closer road to get us south. So headed for Kensington Church Street. There was a bit of traffic at the end, but it was rush hour. Get to the lights at the end of Kensington Church Street. Remember, we're going to Cadogan Gate here. A bit of a wait at the lights, then left Kensington High Street. Past the Rural Gardens Hotel on the left, past Hyde Park on the left, Kensington Gardens, forward Kensington Road, and then we'll go forward Kensington Gore, Albert Hall on the right, Albert Memorial on the left. Up to the lights at Exhibition Road, we'll cross those, still going forward Kensington Road until we finally hit the luxurious Knightsbridge. 199 Knightsbridge Apartments on the right. Forward Knightsbridge, complying Knightsbridge Junction, waiting for the right turn onto Sloan Street. Now, Sloan Street is one way from north to south at the moment due to the street refurbishments. Those have been going on for about two years now. Keep heading south, then a right turn into Cadogan Gate. <coughs> okay, <coughs> job number two done. I'll just um, close that down on the app. Um, from here, Cadogan Gate, you only ever go to one other place to pick up your next job, Sloan Square. Right, south side rank, two cabs in front of me. Shouldn't be too long. Um, oh, hi there. Hi there, could you take us to Chancery Lane, please? Yeah, of course, no yeah? problem. Okay, yeah, okay, Jump in, guys, yeah. No problem. Okay, from here, I complied Sloan Square. Stopped at the lights to start off with, then went all the way around, Ford Cliveton Place, Ford Eaton Gate, and then forward into the huge and massive Eaton Square. Now you can't go all the way to Eaton Square at the moment, you're forced left into Belgrave Place, which is a real pain. So comply Belgrave Square, leave by Grosvenor Crescent. Always a bit of traffic up here. Uh, on the right, the Peninsula Hotel, which was getting ready for some big stylish production and red carpet event in the evening. Comply Hyde Park Corner, leave by Constitution Hill. This is one of my favorite thoroughfares in London and is a great way to get across town quickly. So stay in the left lane here. I did a left turn onto the Mall. The flags are out and that red tarmac is facing me all the way down to Albert e. Arch. Did you know the tarmac is red? Because it's supposed to emulate a red carpet leading all the way up to Buckingham Palace. Okay, finally, we hit Trafalgar Square. Comply. King Charles I roundabout, and then it's right into Duncannon Street, left onto the Strand. Forward Strand, not a lot of traffic here this morning. I was happy about that. We really whizzed along there. And comply the Old Witch, then take a left turn back onto the Strand once I get through these red lights. Finally, we're gonna hit Fleet Street, and then the one-way system onto Chancery Lane. We can go all the way to the top here, and then what I'll do, um, it was number 70, I think. So I will set it neatly down on the right. Okay, job number three done. That was Sloan Square to Chancery Lane. Pretty good job, actually. I'm getting back into the swing of things and we'll head off and see if we can get job number four now. I've done a right turn out of Chancery Lane onto High Holborn. Then I'm going to head up towards King's Cross. If I don't get trapped with my fourth job, what I'm going to do is just carry on up to Brewery Road to Taxi World and get my pay rise. Yes. As it happened, I didn't pick up a job going past King's Cross Station, so I just kept going up York Way until I finally got to Brewery Road. And then all of a sudden, this vehicle caught my eye. Well, I've got to be honest, this was the most luxurious taxi I have ever laid eyes on. It had a full Napa leather interior. The smell was incredible with a walnut finish, a small interior bar and a driver's seat that I could absolutely die for. Um, Kevin showed me around the vehicle. I'd just like to say a big thanks to Kevin. Um, 
if someone wants to buy this vehicle, who do they get in contact with? They get in contact with my company, Chelsea Truck Co. Uh, we're based at Albert Bridge. Yep. So you can jump online, Instagram as well. So uh, all the handles there, and then you can just check out this vehicle, how much it's going to be, and uh, if you're interested. So Taxi World are incorporated into the LEVC building, service repairs and sales. And this is the place where if you want to buy a taxi in London, you come here. So I've just pulled in at Taxi World. Uh, they're located inside the LEVC on Brewery Road. Uh, Hussein's going to do my meter change, which is a very exciting it part exciting. for any cab driver. <laughs> we literally have to get our pay rise here. Indeed, so I'm driven up here. So uh, how does it work? So with this chip, this tiny little chip here. Yep. I'm going to upgrade your meter, basically. So we'll give you a new tariff. So obviously your meter still will start on the same rate. Yep. But obviously the difference is in the journey. Right. All right. And that's all down there all on there. the fare sheet, which has to be on display to the public Indeed. at all time. So I'm going to put that in there for you as well. So there, there you go. Your meter's actually done. New so it's card. calibrating so from, now, yeah. So from green, it should now go to red in a second. Okay. If it doesn't, you didn't do it that time. <laughs> right. So we're going to so do. We're going to uh, do, do it one more time. Hang on in there, folks. This is very important. There it's the pay right. That's better. Loading. Done. There you go. And that is it. That, that is, is it. how quickly a taxi driver in London gets his pay rise. Indeed. There Do you go. Red light. Fantastic. And off we go. Hussein, thanks so much. Good I'll time. get that put in the back so the customers can see the new fare change. I will do that for you myself. Thank you so much, Hussein. No I appreciate worries. it. No worries. Thanks, everyone at Taxi World, Hussein, Jewel, and Steve for helping me out today and good luck for your, all your exciting new projects in the taxi industry. Thanks guys. Okay, I'm richer, just by a little bit, after getting my tariff change. From here, head back down towards King's Cross and probably jump on the rank. Hello sir. Honourable right, artillery company please. No problem. So left the King's Cross rank going forward Pancras Road. Staying in the left lane here because I need a left turn onto the Euston Road and then forward Pentonville Road. Straight up to the top of Pentonville Road. On the left was Penton Street. Well, still is Penton Street. That's where the old public carriage office used to be. That's where I did my appearances and the examiners used to scare the hell out of me. So forward Pentonville Road until you get to the lights at the Angel Islington. Wait there, stuck on a red light. As soon as I get past these, I'm looking from going to the right lane into the left lane, because from here, it is the big bus lane all the way down to the city road roundabout. Staying in that bus lane on the left, which is a real lifesaver on the city road here, comply the new city road roundabout, leave by city road. And the honorable artillery is on the right. Ooh. Job number four done. That was King's Cross Station to City Road, basically. He wanted the Honourable Artillery Club. Artillery Club, should I say. Okay, let's head for job number five. Now, the city is the place where once I get in it, I'm looking to get out of it. Because it's not a friendly place as far as driving is concerned. Road closures, restrictions, can't get through Bank Junction, the list goes on. So I normally start heading west as quickly as possible. So heading west, I trundled up High Holborn and then managed to get a right turn onto Grays Inn Road and then this happened. Hello. Uh, could you take me to Kilburn, please? Yeah, to Kilburn. Whereabouts would yeah, you like? Um, just by the station. No problem. Thank you. Okay. So this is not the easiest of jobs. It could be a bit of a strange line. Head forward Grays Inn Road until I hit the one-way section. Um, that will take me past King's Cross Road and then on to the Euston Road. Do I get tempted to go up through Camden? No, I didn't. The bus lane is the lane that gives me lots of miles very quickly and keeps me moving. So it's all about when I'm going to start raising the line on this particular route. So I tend to leave it a little late. I like to eat up the miles as much as I can before I start raising my line. Forward the Euston Road then the Euston underpass and then now I start raising the line by left Bolsover and then doing a right onto Great Portland Street. So forward Great Portland Street through the lights, forward Albany Street and then I'm looking on 
to a left turn Chester Gate right outer circle. So follow outer circle all the way round anti-clockwise until I get a right turn onto the bridge and forward Avenue Road, which I do just about here. Unfortunately, this was not moving at all because there are temporary roadworks on Prince Albert Road to the left of the bridge and they were holding all the traffic up in the junction. Now, this was extremely frustrating, not only for me, but for my customer. And many of the vehicles looking to cross got stuck on the green lights and could not move. Eventually, after what seemed like a million years, we finally got through the lights, only to be met by more temporary traffic lights ahead where they were resurfacing. I told you it was going to be one of those days when I get back from being away for a long time. I have no idea where the roadworks are. And then I took a left onto Adelaide Road, Ford Hillgrove Road, comply roundabout, leave by Belsize Road. Go forward up to the light, stay in the right lane because it's then a right turn onto Abbey Road. Snake around left and right up West End Lane until I get to Messina Avenue. Now this is going to be my very important cut through all the way to Kilburn High Road. Take a right onto Kilburn High Road. Keep going forward. She was looking for the Tesco's and I dropped the lady down neatly on the left. Okay, so just dropping off. The lady has to go to the cash point because that's the way she wants to pay me. All right, that's very kind. No, no, that's right. Let me give you a chance. Yeah, no, don't worry. It's, I tried to get it under, but it's just one of those things. Don't you worry. All right, take care. Anyway. Got the payment for that job which is nice. And um, that was job number five. I'm gonna do job number six and then take a break. So let's do job number six next. That'll be over, take a break and see what happens for the rest of the afternoon. From here, it's just a U-turn and then head south, Kilburn High Road, Edgeware Road towards Marble Arch. Okay, just got one here on the Edgeware Road on the way down. Hi, sir. Welbeck Hospital, Welbeck Street. Welbeck Hospital, Welbeck Street, yeah. Nice little job here. Leave on left at Edgeware Road, left Harrowby Road. Go straight to the end until I do a right on to Seymour Place. Hit the lights at George Street, left George Street. Can't go all the way down George Street to the end now as it's one way against you. Left Gloucester Place, right Blanford Street. For Blanford Street until we get to Taylor Street where I'm going to do a right. And then a left onto to Lane right here. And then this cyclist just parked in the middle of the road, couldn't move. Crazy, left of the Bolsgrove Street, set down on left. Um, let me just tell you about that job. It was Edgeware Road to the Welbeck Hospital. If you do get that job, um, instead of going around the one-way system to enter it through a new cab, then um, just go to Bolsgrove Street and drop it on the corner. It's, it's just opposite, basically. It makes things a lot easier. Well, the good news is, um, since I came out of hospital, it looks like summer has decided uh, to make an appearance, so that's nice. Before I went in, it was winter-like on the streets of London, but now it really is rather pleasant. So let's hope it stays that way for the next few months. Made my way onto Albemarle Street. I thought I'd rank up outside Brown's Hotel, which I haven't done for a while. It's a nice little cute hotel and, well, you never know. And it looks like a little lady with little doggies coming out of my cab. <clears throat> Which isn't a problem, I love Are you dogs. Free, sir? Yes, no problem. Right, we go to the Anya Cafe. Anya Cafe. Bond Street. Bond Street, okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, just to confirm, we're going to Anya's Cafe on Pond Street. So leave on left Elba Mar Street, left and left Grafton Street, right Hay Hill. Wait at the lights, right Barclay Street, comply Barclay Square, lead by Fitzmaurice Place, forward Curzon Street and left Bolton Street. Cabby's favourite street gives us a left and a right at the end. Stay in the right lane here. I'm going to do a right on to Piccadilly, then stay in the left lane here because I'm going to take the ramp up to High Park Corner. Comply High Park Corner. Wait for the lights. Peninsula Hotel in front, leave by Grosvenor Crescent. Take Grosvenor Crescent round to the left and comply Belgrave Square. From here, Ford Chesham Place, Ford Pont Street. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Job number seven complete. It was Albemarle Street, not to Angers and Bond Street. It was Pont Street, so I just confirmed that with them. This part of Pont Street 
is full of Anya Hindmarsh shops and boutiques and a little cafe over there. There are one, two, three, four, five, six Anya Hindmarsh shops. So she must be doing pretty well. Okay, job number seven complete. We will now head for job number eight and see where that takes us. Gonna head down Pont Street, um, maybe go straight on, maybe I'll go left into Sloan Street, maybe I'll go up towards Leonard's Gardens, probably not. Sloan Street, I think, will be the best option and that will take me down to Sloan Square. Check out the rank there. Okay, so left into Sloan Square, Ford Cliveton Place, Ford Eaton Gate. Then a left onto Eaton Square, Ford Eaton Place, Ford Bear Right, Chesham Place. Bear Right again, Chesham Place, Comply, Belgrave Square. And then we have to sweat it out again on Grove Crescent. Well, it wasn't too bad, it seemed to be moving. The good old Peninsula Hotel on the right. We keep edging our way up Grosvenor Crescent until finally and eventually we hit High Park Corner. So comply High Park Corner, Park Lane wasn't looking good. I decided to go straight on down Piccadilly, which was clear. So I'm looking for a left Half Moon Street, left Curzon Street, right Queen Street, right Charles Street, and then comply Barclays Square. All the way around clockwise, a left onto Bruton Street get to the lights at New Bond and Old Bond Street and then we're going to take a forward onto Conduit Street. Now we're going to drop off on Regent Street here for Dishoom because Kingley Street there's no access and the customer can neatly walk through the alleyway on the left. Set down on left. Thanks very much. Oh, and I've got another one. Station, please. Waterloo Station yeah no problem. the classic one out one in which every cab driver loves so leave on left regent street head down south stopping for the lights of course traffic's not too bad at the moment and heading towards piccadilly circus once we get to piccadilly circus we will comply with piccadilly circus and leave by coventry street after that it's a right turn on to the Haymarket. right down south stay left pall mall east ford and right and then comply trafalgar square left turn comply king charles the first roundabout that's going to take us down on to whitehall from here it's a journey heading south we're heading for westminster bridge and looking for that left turn so stay in the left lane there's not much of a wait here, just a couple of minutes. Take that left turn onto Bridge Street, the wonderful Big Ben on the right, newly refurbished, and then cross Westminster Bridge, London Eye on the left. Go forward Westminster Bridge, forward Westminster Bridge Road, then a quick turn Westminster Bridge Road right onto that station approach. You probably don't see this road ever. This is where we drop off. Yeah. Have a great day. Thanks very much. Bye. Oh, so two jobs there. Um, that's what we call in the trade one in, one out. Or in that case, one out, one in. Um, bottom of Sloan Street to Dishoom. She said Carnaby Street. It's actually on Kingley Street. So I dropped her off on Regent Street so she could just walk through the alley to Kingley Street. And then as soon as she got out, a couple jumped in Waterloo Station. Happy days. Job eight and nine ticked off and from there headed out the station towards one of my favorite hotels and for my last job of the day i've ranked up at the westminster park plaza you never know you could get a flyer from here just the one taxi in front of me and he's already off after just one minute so that's good news hello sir yeah of course yeah one <laughs> 157 Tower Bridge Road. Okay, no problem. I started off this journey with a U-turn onto Addington Street. Don't go forward through the hotel forecourt and do that else you'll get a ticket. So forward Addington Street, forward Westminster Bridge Road, wait at the lights. Bear left Westminster Bridge Road. Now just keep going, stay in the left-hand lane. That bus lane will keep you moving whilst the traffic on the right sits still. Comply St George's roundabout, leave by Borough Road. 
Let's go under the bridge there, Terry's Cafe, just around the corner, worth a visit. Left onto Borough High Street. Now drift into the right lane and I'm heading for a right turn onto Great Dover Street and then a very quick left turn onto Long Lane, which is just about there. Okay, traffic was not great on Long Lane. Just keep going, uh, plugging along until I get a left turn further down Long Lane onto Bermondsey Street. Now the gentleman's 157 Tower Breach Road was near Tanner Street rather than Long Lane. So yes, left Bermondsey Street, right Tanner Street, and then I was forced out left onto Tower Thank Bridge Road. Much, sir. And that's it. Job number 10 complete. Okay, you crazy cats, that last job was from the Westminster Park Plaza to 157 Tower Bridge Road. Job number 10 complete. As I said, if you enjoyed today's episode, leave any comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button. And if you really enjoyed it, why not subscribe? It's great to be back. Thanks for everyone at Northwick Park for putting me back together. Oh yeah, and you cab drivers, let me know your experiences of forgetting to turn the meter on. I'd love to hear those. Until next time, see you back here.